Fish stock assessments are dependent on good quality data, including population estimates of age, growth and maturity. This video provides a brief overview of how biological samples of swordfish, Xiphius gladius, are prepared for further analysis to provide this vital information. The swordfish samples depicted in this video were collected as part of a project by the International Commission for the Conservation of Atlantic Tunas, also known as ICAT. Individual fish were collected by observers on board commercial Portuguese longline vessels in the South Atlantic. However, samples were also collected from vessels in the North Atlantic and Mediterranean. For each individual sampled, the onboard observers record the length and sex of each individual. The observers also take the anal fin, a flesh sample, the ear canals which contain the otoliths, the gonads and also the liver for a selection of individuals. If the gonads are too large, the observer will weigh them on board and take a section. Throughout this process, the observers endeavour to minimise damage to the marketable portions of each fish. Once the samples have arrived at the lab, the first step is to unwrap and record the unique identifiers for each sample. Next, we weigh each pair of gonads. It's important to check that both gonads are present and whole, and to remove any encasing membranes or parasites. The weight is recorded and also noted on an additional label which will be placed inside the sample container. A 2cm wide transverse slice of each gonad is taken and preserved in 4% formaldehyde and after a minimum of 10 days this is transferred to 70% ethanol. These samples will be used to look at the histology of the reproductive organs. If the circular piece of gonad is too large to fit in the container a triangular section of the larger circle can be taken, ensuring the centre and the edge of the gonad are included. Next, three 1cm cube samples are cut from the female gonad for egg quality analysis and from the liver for fat content and lipid analysis. These are placed in 2ml screw cap cryovials and immediately frozen at 18 degrees C. It is important to prepare these samples before they fully defrost to preserve the structure of the cells. Two lots of 3mm cube samples are taken from the flesh sample which will be used for genetic analysis. To prevent contamination, thoroughly rinse the scalpel and tweezers with 96% ethanol and cut the samples from a previously unexposed portion of the flesh. Fill each sample tube with ethanol and ensure there are no air bubbles. Lastly, the individual otoliths are removed from the ear canals and the first three to four spines are removed from each fin. Both of these structures are used for ageing. I will explain how these structures are isolated and used in another video. To summarise, this project with ICAT is designed to collect a range of biological samples from swordfish across their biogeographic range. The data will be used to improve the stock management advice. For example, through informing estimates of the age and size structure of the population. Thank you for watching.